I get back because I need to go that direction unless it's the only way I can go. Huh, let's see. Unless I am supposed to go that way, but I don't. Yeah, no, I'm not. Well, could probably take the high ground up, but fuck it. Let's not and say we did. Ah, I'm on a crack. <laughs> nice. Can I go this way? Oh, shit, I can. Nice. But that's not where I need to go. I need to go follow this plume of smoke because I'm pretty sure Anastasia called. And, uh, one of her Soviets just fell out of the sky. So, gotta go rescue him. Now that, my friend, is a natural bridge. Should I follow thy canyon or? Nah, we'll go up this way. Oh, that plume of smoke really is pretty far away. Dun dun dun, I'm running to the fire. What is, oh. Oh, is that a lot closer than I expected? I think it might be. Maybe a sneaky beaky on him. Like my old days in Stone Mountain Unit 64. Back in, uh, back in Nam. I have you know I was a Green Beret. close to these damn gooks and I know it. More beer cans. And it's not even open. Drinking that one too. Drinking on the job. Going towards a column of smoke. And it's a Zippo raid. You go sneaky beaky like. Can I even go this way? Nope, don't think so. Damn. I really have to go all the way around? Yeah, looks like it. So much for sneaky beaky attack. Okay. Go all the way around this place. Alright. Where did the stone go? I, okay, I was supposed to say, I could have sworn there was a stone here. I'm about to get stoned. Puns for days. Okay. Hey, 
Red Doll Isla. I'm getting a little bit closer. Tango Whiskey Foxtrot uh, going roughly southwest in towards the thin calm of smoke. We are almost there, my friends. Hot damn, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. And the ground is really red. Let's check out the supply cache. One, two, three, and four. All right. Missing persons fly. How many hikers go missing in Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. A thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. You just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hey, I'm a PTSD a hole. Fuck you trying to say. So was I. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. Then you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's that lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. This is the sort of bio-based small talk that we used to be he was a single man. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh. I can't see for shit right now. I don't even know where the hell smoke's going. You know, I really did lose that smoke. I don't know where it went. It's weird. Dear Psycho, that'd be me. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us on the lake. Let's be honest, in all fairness, I mean, come on, you, you were asking for it, you were skinny dipping, 
you had your little fucking music and you're out in the middle of nowhere. Come on. You, what, you, you didn't think fucking Michael Myers would come out of nowhere? I mean, man, wh who do you think you are? Uh, anyways. Uh, about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. That I did not do. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. You're right, I am a mental fucking axe murderer. I've got PTSD and I'm not going to fucking jail. I hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. The name's Henry, not Dick, not Hank. Why do people always keep fucking calling me something else? Yes. Okay, yeah, I did destroy the stereo. That's it. That's day two. Day two on the job. This is the shit. This is the best job I've ever had. The best job anyone could ever ask for. This is the shit. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Shit, just ripping off of the uh, stairs. Who? Yeah, Burt Reynolds. And Seth Rogen. Jim Gaffigan? I think I might be Jim Gaffigan, guys. I'm white, kind of fat, shorts. What? 